Salutation citizens, Jack Man here, back for another episode of Jack Be Humble, where I play random leftover bundle games in my Steam library. So let's spin that wheel, and s pray. Let's spin and pray. Bunker, the underground game of point-and-click adventure. Mm, yeah, I'm oh, I see, the options menu is a point-and-click. Oh, that's, that's endearing. This game is based on a true story. Alright. This game's already annoyed me. Aha, uh -huh, hot coffee. It's a, it's a video game reference. Hilarious. I probably should I probably should give this game a chance. It's just the opening bit annoyed me where it lied to me and it's just it's put me in a sour mood. Who keeps their coffee on a keyboard? You're a monster. You're a monster and you deserve everything bad thing that happens to you. Okay, apparently we need a tutorial for a point and click. I mean, it's in the name. You point and you click. But fine, we'll do the tutorial. I got punched by a Russian. The, 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 he seems relatively non nonplussed about the fact that he's woken up in a cellar chained to a wall. I mean, I don't think it'd be unre I don't think anyone would think less of him for being, you know, at least even a tiny bit scared. See, the thing with these point and click games is that generally you want to make a character that you want to actually save and you want you want to succeed so that you'll try to, you know, do that. Uh, I don't want this man to succeed. I'm quite happy for him to die down here. So, I mean, he's a douchebag. Guess we've got something in common in this great. It's screwed. Ha ha! I actually don't mind that joke. That's one of my jokes. That's, that's like one of my jokes. So, it's just because he said it. Don't you don't think maybe one of these knives or swords or anything might be useful as a weapon? No. I mean, I don't want to save you. We've been over this, but at the very least, you could at least try and help save yourself. Grab a weapon. Grab a weapon, you idiot. Fine. I don't know what that accomplished. It's broken. How do you know that? Again, we've just established that I've turned the electricity off. If you turn a light switch on and it doesn't work, you can't just assume it's broken. Again, electricity. Oh look, the projector broke and dropped this convenient wire. The my guy is just like, just, yeah, he's just like, no, I'm not going to take this other random shit. But I'll take this random wire that's there. It's just, I genuinely, I don't... Uh, <sighs> I don't dislike point and click games. I do generally like them, but I like them better when you can't pick up an item until you actually need the item. Like there's some games where a guy just goes, yeah, I'll pick this up. I, I'll pick up arbitrarily item A, D, and F, but not B, C, and E. And then, but then the other games will be like, okay, I've got to this point now where I need a coconut. I don't know what for, but you know, coconut. I'm thinking Monkey Island. And then, you go, oh, okay, I've seen this coconut before. I now need a coconut, so I will now pick it up. However, before now, I had not needed to use this coconut. Right. Look at that. We connected the wire. And now we've turned the electricity back on. Thus solving the puzzle. But now we have to enter the combination. How will I ever know what it is? Well, fortunately, we're at the 15 minute mark, so I don't need to. Hooray. All right, Wheel, let's see if you can do any worse than that. I believe in you. Come on. Russian horror story. Just not even trying now. It's just like, nah, yeah, it's just, it's, it's what it is. Very, very practical Russia. We name our thing what it is and nothing else. No wasted time. You know what you get. That was my Russian accent. I'm not very far into this, and I know I didn't spend... I know wh exactly which bundle this game came in, and I know I didn't spend a whole lot of money on each individual game in that bundle, but I still feel a pang of regret already that I did. This game is clearly some Russian person who, I might add, has a very good grasp of English. Like, I haven't noticed any grammatical errors so far, which is unusual for these Russian games. They're not generally dead dialogue heavy. Um, this person obviously gone, I can speak English very well, very fluently. I'm going to do that. But all they're doing is just complaining about the Russian education system. Like, I don't care. The Russian education system is... I mean, I suppose it's it's, it's kind of scary. 
but it, it's a different kind of scary. It's not the kind of scary... Maybe that's what it is. It's a Russian horror story. It's just the state of Russia at the moment. Christ. There's also the option of zoning out in the front of the idiot box. I have even less respect for TV than alcohol. Right, well, I mean, I don't know what it is about the game's protagonists this episode, me just hating them. A female shriek came from the next room, a dreadful scream full of pain and despair. She was complaining about the political climate in Russia. I agreed with her, and we sat down and had a lengthy conversation about it. What do people do in situations like this? Oh, I remember they go to check what's going on, that's exactly what gets them killed in horror films. No, if so, if your neighbour screams, don't go, it's probably some sort of supernatural monster. Go, oh, someone's probably in trouble, they might have injured themselves, I should go and check on them, and then call the police and or ambulance as necessary. Now I'll cut off your other arm. Do I have an evil ghost in there? Why do you default to ghost? Uh, uh. So far, we've got a lot of the Russian, a tiny bit of the story. I'm not seeing much of the horror. All right, I'm just gonna mash through the text now because I'm just gonna hopefully maybe this maybe we can get to the horror in the two and a half minutes that are left. I have an option. They've finally finally given me a choice. I've mashed through. I've clicked at a reasonable pace for the first 12 and a half minutes. I've mashed through for the last minute. And it's finally giving me a fucking choice. Oh, I think that we found the horror. Look, he's got glowing red eyes. No, I'm eating a brain. I, I, it's, it's interesting the direction this has gone in. Like, when you don't actually read it. I mean... I've got to the end! We got to the end in 15 minutes. I mean, I, I mean it meant that I didn't have to not read any of it. So I've got no idea what fucking happened, but... I ate a brain? I guess that's kind of scary. I don't know. Well, that was an odd one. Um, I mean, a lot of the ones I have are odd ones, but that was that was an especially odd one. Let's see, let's see what we can get next, then. Seven Kingdoms 2 HD Edition. Oh, but I haven't played Seven Kingdoms 1. I won't know what's going on. Okay, it's a good start. So to start, they've put a box behind another box. Um, that's fine, we didn't need to know what that said. That's probably not important. Alright, we're just attacking... We're attacking Astrakhan. I don't know what Astrakhan did to deserve being attacked, but apparently... Apparently it did. What am I? Am I... I mean, these guys seem to be human. I'm some sort of monster. Oh, I'm Minotaurs. Why am I commanding Minotaurs? Alright, great. Well, I mean, I suppose it's their own fault for setting up a town so close to a Minotaur layer. I need to breed more Frightens? Okay. So I need to breed... Breed. I bred the maximum amount of Frightans. Minotaur women, apparently, they just push, push them out like gumballs. You put the coin in, you turn the slot, and boom! Minotaur. Okay, great. My Minotaurs have... I just I don't know why I'm doing this. It seems unnecessarily cruel. Like, we were just happily living there. Why do we Minotaurs need to enslave the humans? You must now select one of your common crawls, frightened names for soldiers. Just call them soldiers, don't make it fucking confusing. To become an Ordo, frightened name for general. Just call it a general! You've all, you haven't bothered to give these, like, you've called this a Japanese slave town and a Mongol slave town. Now why are you coming up with terminology to make this more complex than it needs to? Just call them soldiers and generals, fuck's sake! Oh, okay, we can't promote a Minotaur in our lair. We have to send them outside. Uh, and unfortunately, old old Minotaur tradition means we can't promote you inside the house. You have to go outside. We'll throw the star at you, pin it to your shirt, walk back in. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll promote you to Ordo. It's still like, we have to still put it in brackets because it's obviously, they know that it's not clear. Oh, that's the best part about it. They haven't come and they haven't gone. No, nah, people will figure it out. They'll figure a crawl as a soldier. They're like, no, this is confusing. We need to put it in brackets every time we mention it so that people know what the fuck we're talking about. Yeah, fine. You're a, you're now an Ordo. It costs two thousand to buy the loyalty of the lair. Why can't we just invade it? We've got like a whole army of Minotaurs over here. Just go and kill them. They've got no commander. They're a, a Kerasos. The Kerasos are pussies. Let's go murder them. I don't know how I'm breeding Minotaurs and there's only one Minotaur in the lair. I maybe... Minotaurs are asexual? Just, yeah. Uh, actually, I, I'm looking at the Kerasos compared to my Minotaurs. I can see why we paid them off now. Smart move. Smart move. Don't fuck with the Kerasos. They've got bones. They've got bones coming out of their backs. They're pretty impressive. 
Don't know why we're attacking Zhang Yang. It's just there. Got nothing else to do. We'll go attack Nuri in a minute. And then Ray... We'll just... Yeah, just go and destroy these towns. I'm not really feeling the, any tension here. I've just... I've got a band of monsters and we're slaughtering humans. Supposedly for the greater good. Or they're, they're filing the world of their presence. But I, there's no indication that humans are actually bad. Or whether we're just terrible, terrible racists. Right, I think this... We've got the Tower of Science. Oh, we definitely need to destroy that. Uh, yeah, the... Oh, they're building more stuff, guys. Come on, we need to destroy this. This is this is where we need to go. This is our 15-minute goal. Destroy this, this nice little settlement here. The best games are the ones where you can just fold your arms and stop playing for a few minutes. Just... Just watch what happens. Just let the game play itself. Like, I didn't even have to... I clicked on the inn. I thought they'd destroy the inn first and then go and fight the other towns. They're just, they're just going for it. I don't even have to click on the other buildings. They're going, they're just taking care of it, look. I mean, they're fucking that in up. They're doing a real proper job of destroying that inn. Like, no one's gonna be staying there. They're gonna get some really bad reviews on Trustpilot. I like the dull groan that they make as well as they move around, that must be terrifying. You're sitting, you're, you're sitting in your little castle town, having a, I don't know, Enjoying a good execution? I don't know what they did in medieval times. Don't try and build a new inn while I'm killing you. I'm in the middle of I'm in the middle of making a joke about the noise my orcs are making. You're trying to build a new inn. Priorities, focus. This is not the time for renovation. You sat there enjoying a good execution, suddenly hear over the horizon. You think, oh god, the Minotaurs have joined up with the Keratos or whatever. We're doomed. Throw rocks at them from the windows. It will confuse them. They'll get scattered. Uh, I think we've won. Let's destroy science then. Oh, the gods are angry. They're destroying science. Like, they're just humans all wandering around and like just going, yeah, no, no, we're orcs. Yeah, we're on your side. We've defected. Stop trying to build new towns whilst I'm destroying you. I just don't build a new castle! Come on! Oh. Hooray! We killed the king! Still not sure if I'm evil. We've had an interesting mix so far. We had uh, three games. We've got a point and click, a text adventure, and a strategy game. Let's see if we can get a fourth genre for our fourth game. I don't even care if it's good anymore. Just as long as it's a different genre. You know what? This isn't actually a... Uh, Wasteland isn't actually a bundle game. I got it as part of uh, the new Wasteland game. Um, Wasteland 2, I believe. Um, yeah, why not? I'm not going to play it normally. You might as well. Ooh, I knew this game was old, but I didn't know it was this old. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. New game. Strength 16. IQ 14. Luck 15. Dex 4. These seem like good stats. These are like 15 charisma. Yeah. Yeah, enter name. Jack. Uh, oh, hang on. This is an apocalyptic world. Jack Man. Or what's not going to do? We're going to have to call him Jack Max. With two X's. I'm not playing technically as a punch monkey, but in his stead, just so I can actually get to the playing the game and not just faff around the character creation screen, we're going to go for just max points in brawling. Oh, okay. I'm going to do that. Uh, we'll also put... Uh, Five points into. Yeah. There we go. Brawling and pugilism. Jack Max. Okay, let's play. Ooh, okay. Here we are. It's very hot. It's very hot. It's radioactive. I died. And the game just ends. It's just like, nope. You died, you fucked up, no more wasteland for you, close it down, you're done. Um, that was only three and a half minutes though, so we'll, we'll try again. I will try not to be so stupid the second time. <laughs> Hello there! Ah! Shopkeep! Uh, Jack Max wants to enter, I want to buy a... I have no money. Let's go talk to this man. Yes. What do I want to talk to him about? Boops. I don't know. Die. 
Wasteland. Fuck you. I don't know what to say to you, child. What are children like? Toys. T Teletubbies. Justin Bieber. No, wait, this game was made in the 80s. What did kids like in the 80s? Michael Jackson? Mario? Tetris. Pong. Nukes. Uh, boobs again? No, okay. All right, well, I've, I've lost interest in you, child. You're, you're boring. Jack Max choose attack. Angela, attack, attack, attack the rats. Why would you run from rats? Oh, here we go. We've got some combat going now. We've got some combat. This is getting exciting. And I use the term exciting very optimistically. Oh, that's much better. That's much more efficient. The sales booth account is, is closed today on account of vomit attacks. If... Why, who closes because of rats? That seems incredibly short-sighted. You hear a whistling noise overhead, it's getting louder. You better imagine jump inside as a giant rotten tomato explodes onto the ground, showering you with juice. We're being pelted by tomatoes. I got hurt for one point of damage by a giant rotten tomato. We've gone from rats to animals, so they're still quite clearly rats, but that's fine. Attack! The problem with it being so fast is that not only do I not know what happened in the fight, I always, it also goes so quickly that I can't reduce the speed back down to slow. We have, uh, we've, we've run into a problem with my, uh, with my plan here, but that's fine. Oh, we're in a tight spot. But don't worry, guys. Jack Man can get... Okay, we're all unconscious. Alright, Thrasher's woken up. It's fine. They're knocking us unconscious. And then we're waking up. <laughs> and then hitting them for one damage each time. They can't actually kill us. The Slithering Lizard pounces on Jack Max and hits for 12 points of damage and seriously wounds him. Oh, no. This might be the end for Jack Max. Oh, now I'm critically injured. Why is no one else getting as badly wounded as I am? This is unfair. Kill the others. Yeah, we seem to have we've hit a bit of an impasse. Basically, the lizards are faster than me, so I can't actually hit them. Uh, they keep knocking my guys unconscious before I can do anything, and they're waiting until we wake back up before hitting us again. And I've now and Jack Max has gone from unconscious to seriously wounded to critically wounded to com, and now I'm a picture of a pot. I don't know. I don't know if I'm if that's good or bad. But I'm still- Jack's still there. I don't know why no one else is- Oh, everyone else is fine. I think we're stuck. I think Jack Max might be dead. I think that's a picture of an urn. The others are being toyed with slithering lizards. Um, they are- they are playing with them, constantly knocking them over, and then waiting for them to get back out and then knocking them over again. We're basically being bullied by cave lizards. I think we were better off when I just ran head first into radiation, to be honest. Out of the way for Jackman! This is what I've been waiting for. I've been saving my energy. Oh, look at that wiggle. See you, losers! Ha 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 ha! And now I'm in the lead. I, I can't. Hang on, how do I turn? There we go. Ha ha! Look at my ass, you losers! Look at my firm British buttocks. 